video I did yesterday on bike repairs, which was uh, basically a part one, because I put the rest of it off until after the thing, the, this, this box arrived, which came in uh, two days ago. I said in yesterday's video, I'd probably have this video out by that night, but uh, that got delayed a little bit, so here we are back in the shop today, and we're going to open this up, and I'll get it put together, and you'll see what I got. Oh, and yeah, this is what I was using to work on the bike for a while, just hanging the bike up here on this rack and uh, working from down low and kind of got tired of that. So, we've got this guy coming in. There will be a link for this down below in the description box as well for anybody interested in one, once you see what it is. Plastic packaging, we'll get rid of that. And here's the rest of her. Joe's got a new bike stand. I'll get that all set up, put it together, and then you can have a look at it. I'll be back in a minute with that. bike stand. Uh, let's pick her up off the floor a bit here so you can see the legs. It has four legs that uh, spread out as you open it up. Loosen off this knob and we can collapse her back down. Open her back up here. Four pivoting feet on the bottom. Just flatten those out once you have it set up. And the height is adjustable as well. And everything pivots. This you can move in and out. see that a little bit better and here's the adjustable jaws for the bike itself and we'll put the bike on it. Hold on one sec. So here we go. Just give you a little walk around here. There's the clamp for holding the bike in. Everything's adjustable and rotatable. Is rotatable a word? We'll say it is. Cool tray. There's a better look at the tool tray there. It's not real big. I've, I've had bigger on past ones that I've had, but it'll do. Give you a look at the bottom. And the feet. Those pivot nicely. Get them flat on the floor. And yeah. No more having to uh, crouch down on the floor to work on the bike. Get a proper rack. And I think I'm going to be happy with it. There will be a link in the description box down below if you want to take a good look at it. It's uh, very economical. It was uh, $139 Canadian. 
If it's on the U.S. site, it would obviously be a little less there as well. Anyways, I'll look for the links, put it up, and get this video posted. If you like this, hit the uh, thumbs up, leave some good comments down below, and if you haven't already subscribed, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate that a lot, and I'll be back with some more videos soon. Yeah, so I'm back. So the one other thing I forgot to show you was the handlebar holder. This guy, a couple of bands that go on it. Clips on the ends. So you fasten that around your handlebar, and then down around your post. So we put her up here. And I want that a little straighter. And that'll help keep the handlebars from flopping all around when you're working on the bike. So I just wanted to show you that, and let me look up one other thing here. I just realized I never mentioned the name of the bike stand. It is the Docred, D-O-C-R-E-D, -E the Docred bike repair stand. The total weight is 7 kilograms, which is about 15 pounds. And like I say, the link will be down below, and check it out. Okay, now we're going to take the bike back off and show you one more thing. Set this guy aside. Loosen this all off the clamp, pop the bike off, oh, a little bit more. Obviously I'm not going to leave it set up in the workshop here like this all the time. It takes up a little too much space for that. Pop this guy back down. Loosen up the legs. So that shows you how much room it's going to take up when not in use. So I can just put that away into a corner or somewhere. And uh, that's that. So that's it for the video, and I'll talk to you soon.